Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can populate CMS content such as blog posts, custom collections on our website using CMS row. So as you can see, we have got few blog posts here by default and we would love to populate them on a new page. So let me click on this design and page option from here. After that, it is going to take us to our editing panel of the website. So let me click on this page option. After that, let's click on add new page. We are going to create the blog page. So let's type out blog. Let's click on save. After that, I'm going to click on add new section. After that, we're going to click on custom section. And from here, as we have to work with the CMS content, we want to populate contents from the CMS, which is blog post we have to work with this CMS row with column section. So if we want to show two blog posts in one row, we are going to select two columns. If we want to show three blog posts in one row, then we're going to select three columns from here. So let's go with this three column. After that, it is going to show us connect to database. So I'm going to click on connect to database button right here. After that, it is going to show us this configurations panel. We are going to select the data source, select the collection. So let's click on this data source. From here, we are going to select posts. But if our intention is to populate custom collections, then we are going to select custom collections. So let's click on post here. After that, we're going to cross. And now it's time to populate our blog post content. For instance, let's click on this add element. After that, I'd love to add the blog post title. So let's click on heading or title. And then we are going to remove the default text from here. Let's click on add CMS fields. So we have got many other options depending on our need. We can select and populate the data here. So let's click on post title. And after that, I'd love to make it to let's say heading four so that it will look nice. Just take a look. So after the post titles and one thing I worked on one column here, but it populated the data on the respective columns as well. Right, so this is a great advantage how we can design our content, how we can populate contents. We are going to work on one column, but it is going to work on rest of the columns, whatever we have got, right? So now I'm going to add the thumbnail image of the post. So let's click on this add new element. So after that, I'm going to click on image. Let's click on add CMS fields and we're going to select thumbnail image. So it is going to take the thumbnail image from the blog post, just take a look they are working respectively for each of these blog posts. Now I'm going to cross this out. So as you can see here, we are seeing two duplicate images. That means this image is used in two blog posts as a thumbnail image. All right, so no worries. We're going to take the excerpt now. So let's click on this plus icon again. After that, I'm going to take text. After that, I'm going to remove the default text from here. Let's click on add CMS fields. After that, you're going to select excerpt. Just take a look, we have got the excerpts added. Now, one last thing that I'd love to add, the read more button, so that whenever someone will click on the button, they'll be able to read the full blog post. So let's click on this plus icon again, add new element below. After that, I'm going to select regular button. And then I'd love to keep the button styling as it is. You can customize everything depending on your need. So I'm going to simply change the button text from here. Let's say read more, that's it. After that, I'm going to connect the post slug so that whenever someone will click, it is going to take them to the blog post page. So scroll a bit down until we find this button link. So let's click on button link. After that, from link type, it is currently selected to external link. So we have to change it to CMS item slug. After that, from the URL, we have to specify the slug. So we are going to click on add CMS fields. Let's click on slug and then simply cross this out. Let's click on publish. And if I visit this page and if I click on read more, just take a look. This is the first blog post and we have got the first blog post content here. Now, if I take you back, let's click on the second blog post. Just take a look. This is the second blog post title and we can obviously customize everything for the blog post template. And here is the blog post content, right? So this is how you have to connect and show CMS contents, blog posts and custom collections on your website using CMS row. And now let's say if we want to add a title before this blog post, we can simply click on this um, row. 
like add new CMS row below. So we are going to click on this. After that, we are going to take a regular column for the title. So let's click on this. And then I'm going to click on add element from here. Let's click on heading. And I'm going to type out, let's say blog posts. And let's take them to the center. After that, I'm simply going to drag this row below the previous row just take a look we have got the blog post and then if you want now you can simply add your navigation bar as well from section symbols we have got navigation simply drag this to the top here we go just take a look how it is looking like now so this was it guys this is how you can populate cms contents on your website using cms row and how you can customize your site so i believe we have found this video helpful but if you have got any further question please feel free to ask us by commenting below and thank you so much for being with doric have a good day